folks, you're in for a treat today. We are at Grenada, Mississippi. I'm with my buddy Jojo Baker from Tri Lake Guide Service. Um, we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna put big fish, the biggest fish in the country are gonna go in the boat today, but we're also gonna learn something. As you saw in the, uh, the thumbnail, I'm sure, I have done a lot of tests in the last week and a half. Um, and my goal today is to kind of have you walk away with a better knowledge as to what goes into a 10 pound test line. Um, so we're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna put big fish in the boat. I've got my buddy Jojo right over here. He's just getting finished up. Check it out, folks. What we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna put some hogs in the boat and show you what this stuff can do. Because I do it all the time. We can't, we're gonna catch some giants on this knocking break. So for you guys that have been around, know uh, a little bit, let's get back over here in this sun right here, Jojo. The uh, Jojo runs a guide service here on Grenada. Actually, all the lakes, it really doesn't matter. One of the things I brag about Jojo is that he'll take you wherever the big fish are, whether it's a sardis, enid, it don't matter. Arc Butler, yep, yep, we do them all, all the big four. So. He's, he's your guide out here. I'll put his information in the description below, so check him out. But we're gonna be spending the next, gosh, maybe three or four episodes here talking a lot about products. We're gonna be spending a lot of time putting some big fish in the boat, and that's yeah. what's exciting about it. We wanna show yeah. you that you can put the biggest fish in the boat uh, with all these types of products. So, yeah. you sure. ready to go? I'm ready, man, let's, let's get it. Let's do it. Folks, I can't wait till you see what we do here today. We put some absolute toads in the boat. But most important, we want to educate you guys on braids, let you know some information so that helps your buying decision just a little bit easier. We want to educate folks and we cannot wait to provide you that information. Folks, you have to you have to appreciate Grenada during is it called the drawdown, correct? No. Okay. I guys I want you guys to appreciate this. This is just as unbelievable what this place looks like during this period of time. I don't know how much you can appreciate it. But we're talking about very little water in the lake right now. Do you know what level it's at right now, Jojo? I have no idea. Probably around 197. Probably. I mean, it's truly, uh, it's the lowest I've ever seen. And uh, it's just a different, uh, it's a different lake. So, very cool. That's amazing. Check out the water level up there, folks. You see it? That is, I mean, I can't, that's gotta be 15 feet, more, more so than that, I guess. 20 feet, I mean. You know, I've, all right, before we get started, I'm just gonna do a gear check, just so you guys know what I'm fishing with. 13 foot, Ozark Rod, three pound fishing elite series. Sniping braid right there, that's the 10 pound that we have out right now. Fluger reel, get those at Grizzly Jig, love them to death. And this, now I tie the, uh, Sniping braid straight to my jig. So there's the there's the hair jig right there. That's one of my three pound fishing jig, hair jigs. If it works great today, um, we'll be offering that out there. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying it out. And Jojo says, "Boy, that'd be hot right here." So that's what we're gonna try. I have no idea. So uh, straight to the straight to the jig with a loop knot with a loop knot. So nothing fancy about my loop knot. You've seen me do it a thousand times. So all right, folks. So this is jojo's setup right here he's got a nice 126 sv right there that's beautiful that's the one i recommend always looks like around six foot of water is what we're going to be fishing and uh we're gonna find some pigs here i'm gonna set you in the back first as we do this what's water temperature right there 47 47 yep 47 we got a brisk morning uh should be warming up to 60 degrees Six. Folks, we haven't been out here very long at all. Jojo put you on some fish. There you go. Do the honors. That's a toad. Very good fish. That is a great fish, for sure. But what do you think that is, Jojo? Uh, probably two, two nine, maybe two eight, two nine. Two, uh, two eight, two seven two, at the mo at the least. Two seven. Yep. Good night. The That's a hot thing. <laughs> we're going to talk braid let's talk some braid oh man that was fun that's awesome time so i've done a lot of testing on braids and i thought it would be good 
to kind of help people understand a little bit more about braids and what goes into deciding whether or not they are a 10 pound braid or not. And um, basically I, I've had a lot of fun with all these braids and they're all great braids. I'll never be a guy that's gonna bash a, a company um, or a product. So I'm just gonna tell you the difference between a lot of these braids and what goes into testing them. Um, and what decides kind of the, the weight test that they are. Uh, there are two main factors in deciding whether or not a braid is, um, how strong a braid is, and that is usually strands and diameter. That kind of dictates how strong a braid can be. And what you value as an angular, angler is what is going to kind of point you in the right direction of what braid to pick. So there are a lot of 10, these are all 10 pound braids and they're all great braids, but they are different even though they all say 10 pound. The, the diameter of the braids are significantly different between one or the other. For example, sniper braid is a 0 0.10 millimeter. Um, for example, I'll just grab any of these. Um, this is 0 0.20 millimeters. This is twice the diameter. All right, folks, here's the cliff notes. Within each family, a 10 pound, 12 pound, 15 pound, whichever package you choose, there's gonna be different diameters. And when you have a thicker diameter, they're going to measure differently. So just because you're picking up one 10 pound, they could be different. Now there are two tests. There's a knot test and then there's a straight line test. The straight line test is the gold standard. It is what we use to rate braids. Now what's important to know is that a knot test will always be, for the most part, 40 to 60% less of your straight line test. Jojo putting a hurting on them. What was that? That's like about a two six. Yeah, at least. Two six folks. Oh, hum, two six. There he is there. Pretty fish, big belly. I'm telling you, folks, good fishing here, man. You gotta check them out. Isn't this the coolest thing? We're on Grenada Lake, one of the best crappie fishing lakes in the world. We're catching hogs, two six, two seven, two five, two two pounders, and 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 it's gonna go on and on. And I'll tell you what, we're doing it with an extremely small diameter 10 pound braid, all sniping braid. And you know, what I like about a thin, small diameter 10 pound is that I can cast it, it is smooth, it checks all the boxes that I want as an angler. Oh, you got a tag fish. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, come on now. We're boat flipping pigs. That's a tagged fish. Let's see what the name is on that. Check that out. That's awesome. That's awesome, folks. Check that out. Tag. Beautiful fish. Probably about what, a two pounder? Yep. Yep. Right there, too. There it is. So the fish are really shallow. They're roughly around, I mean, all the big fish have been caught under two feet. Yep. Yep. And why do they go so shallow? Um, my thoughts are it's cold out. It's been cold out for a week or so. And on, especially on a sunny day, you're gonna catch those fish up high in the water column. I'm pretty sure they're up there in that warmer water. That, that surface temperature is gonna heat up a lot quicker than it is down there. And um, I'm, I'm about positive that's what it is. So water temperature changes, gets a little warmer during the sunny days, especially. Yep. They come up. That's pretty cool. It's really interesting, you know, dropping a hair jig, uh, only trying to keep it that far below the surface, which is something I'm not familiar with. It's a little tricky sometimes. I'm gonna go with the Darbone, a 1 ounce jig. The jigs that I sell at uh, three pound fishing tackle are all in the 132nd, but I might add some 116ths down the road here. Just a little bit bigger presentation, really, and because these fish are so shallow, um, you really don't have room for a split shot to allow you to flip it out to them. We don't have a lot of wind today, but even trying to flip a 116th is not the easiest thing to do, especially if you are not used to it, like myself. So. I meant to show you the loop knot actually, and I didn't do that. So we'll have to do that next time. But there it is right there, that's my setup. Let's do it. One of the last points I wanna to touch on with braids is, you know, I got to talk to two owners of braid companies, big companies. 
and it was such a joy to listen to them talk about the different technologies and everything but we talked about testing and one of the things that probably frustrates the most out of braid company owners is tests that are done in garages and act like that is a legitimate test that is not how you test fishing line folks there is controlled environments there is machinery meant to do straight inline testing and there's particular techniques on how to do a knot test which is interesting really cool stuff out of the wind and uh, we're catching fish everywhere we go um, but to make it easier staying out of the wind is ideal jojo's not happy with the boat slap is what he's saying fish ain't the fish ain't happy with it either they don't yeah. like it Fish don't like it either. They're kind of skittish today. So we're coming up on them and they'll, they'll leave if you got too much boat slap apparently. So a lot of people ask, you know, like, why did you go with such a low, small diameter on sniping braid? And probably the number one reason is I think it should be a true 10 pound braid opposed to just putting a 10 pound on a, a really thicker line. But the, the, I guess the reason why is that you want the ability to put that braid right onto that jig and feel comfortable fishing it with like that. Um, on a muddy lake like this, of course, it probably doesn't matter. I mean, I guess you could probably use a lot thicker right straight to the jig. Like my home lake, we have four to six feet of visibility and it's important to have a small diameter as you can with the strongest inline strength that you can get as well. All right, this is the gum drop. We're going with a 30 second ounce head because the bite's gotten a little tough and uh, gum drop, has been my go-to for a while. The problem is pitching out this distance is going to be kind of Come on, baby. I'm going to pop up. I'm talking about folks right there. That's Grenada Fishing with Jojo Baker on Tri Lake Guide Service. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good fish. You gotta love it, folks. You really do. It doesn't get any better. You're fishing with good equipment, Ozark rods. You pick the braid that fits your game. And uh, we're gonna end it today. And I'll tell you, we've, we've put some really big fish in the boat. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Beautiful day on Grenada. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.